save time and money in the kitchen? Well, then you should know <laughs> Chuck. Yeah, joining us live to explain who, or rather what Chuck is, is award-winning chef and author, Chef Jen. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Well, we are doing well. Thank you so much for joining us live from Denver. We're talking about beef and how it's leading the way with technology in the kitchen. So who or what is Chuck? You know, Chuck Knows Beef is this amazing virtual assistant that will help anybody, um, home cooks, with recipes, with what to do with different cuts of meat. Um, it's really cool because it is artificial intelligence powered by Google and it learns. So it learns as you go. So when I use it and I get recipes that I like, it starts to like say, okay, this is what Jennifer likes, this is what I'm going to do. So it really gets fine-tuned to just my needs and I think that's pretty cool. So can you share a few of your favorite recipes with us? Yeah, you know, um, I love the shoulder of beef. I know people, you know, think about all the center cuts, you know, like the New York steaks the most, but I love all the flavor in a shoulder. And to really do it right, you need to cook it usually low and slow. But this recipe, uh, beef pot roast with cider gravy, which you can get on chucknosebeef.com, we cook in the pressure cooker. So instead of cooking it for six hours in my oven, I caramelize my onions, my garlic, ginger, sweet potatoes, and the beef, and I put it in with cider, some delicious local cider, and um, 60 minutes to cook as opposed to six hours. And this is a cool recipe, but there's tons of recipes on chucknosebeef.com. And how can consumers get the most out of Chuck Knows Beef? I mean, you talk a little bit about, you know, which cuts to use and things like that. I feel like I'm stuck on using the yeah. same kind of meat in the kitchen always. Yeah, so this is a great way to get creative. So go to your grocery store, maybe see something like a skirt steak or a flank steak that maybe you haven't used, and then ask Chuck Knows Beef for recipes, and then choose, because like, they'll give you a bunch, then choose one that you like, and then at the grocery store, it'll send you a shopping list to your phone. Um, so I think that's really cool. I also think for consumers, you can ask it you know, like how the beef is raised or what's grass fed. So there's a lot of educational things too that can be on Chuck Knows Beef. But I think, again, great tools, knowledge is power. So again, learn new method, new technique. Is this almost like having our own personal chef in the kitchen using the smart speakers? <laughs> it is, it's really cool because, you know, I'm cooking, my hands are my hands are always full of something and I'm chopping away. So you can just talk to it and it feeds information to me while I keep working. And that really helps save me time personally. Um, and then again, with all the different information it has, it's so cool. Chef Jen, everybody knows the phrase beef, it's what's for dinner. Uh, is this still a staple in the American diet? Oh, beef is, I mean, I think beef is absolutely a staple in the American diet. It's a staple in all my restaurants, and it's so versatile. You can do so much. Like, I mean, we have all these different cooking techniques right here. sous vide filet, um, cooking it with immersion circulator, pressure cooking, you know, smoking ribs. Um, there are lots of great healthy options with beef, so I think it absolutely is still a staple on all the American diet. Well, Chef Jen, we will get to know Chuck. Thanks so much <laughs> for all your tips this morning. Thank you. I appreciate it.